Welcome back to the Ultimate Warp Zone. I'm as always Captain N, and this is episode number five. So, today we are going to be playing some Rad Racer. Uh, I know it's been requested from some people. I've been wanting to play it to see if it works just like as in the wizard. And we're going to give that a shot. But before we get to that, let's take a look. We have some letters. It's letter time. All right. So today we have a letter on our Facebook page from Joel again. Joel is asking if I can showcase my systems and my games in a video. I definitely can. It's going to be a bigger project to work on because I do have uh, several consoles. Uh, to quickly go through them, I have the Game Boy, original one, the DS, the gray brick, the 3DS, the NES, as we play every time, the Super Nintendo, the GameCube, the Nintendo 64, the Virtual Boy, and I believe that's it. Yeah, we can showcase that definitely and take a look at the games and the accessories, kind of like the Nintendo Zapper or the Super Scope 6 I have in the background you can't see. So, yeah, definitely we'll go over that. Great question, Joel. And thanks for writing in. So, uh, before we get into Rad Racer, I would like to talk about another type of power glove. Uh, I've been recently been told by Joel that the Nintendo 64 has a Reality Quest glove. Um, people compare it to the power glove. It looks a little different. I'll post a picture up on the screen right now for you to see. Uh, I've watched a couple of videos. I want to get it so we can have some fun and play some Nintendo 64 games with that and take a look. So look for that in the near future, depending on the price. It's in the $60 range. We'll see. Uh, it's out of stock right now, but I'll have to wait for it to come back in stock in order to get it. But we'll get that and we'll test it out. So uh, taking a look here, we're going to show a clip of the wizard right now. I'll get it all. So... As you can see, uh, he talks about having you know 97, 97 of them? Nintendo games, knowing all 97. Yeah, there's, there's a lot more than that. Now, here's Lucas's power glove. You get the glimpse of it from the movie. Kids are wondering what, what it is, what it does. Uh, he is plugging it into the Nintendo, as far as I can see. He does have the sensors set up. But it uh, looks like smaller sensors than the ones, unless that's a lot bigger TV. Maybe it is. Um, he does punch in the correct code, the Program 9 EE, but it does make different noises than the traditional power glove. Uh, I'm going to show you playing it the way Lucas does, and then playing it the way that I find it easiest. Uh, he is obviously not controlling. The lights aren't going on on the sensor on the TV. Somebody else is controlling it. I hate to burst your bubble. <laughs> but we're going to see if we can play it just like Lucas does. Uh, I've given it some tries. It is difficult just because it doesn't detect the tilting like Lucas does. It looks like he's driving a car. It just doesn't work that way. And there you have it. Jeez. Here's a line. Say it. I love the power glove. It's so bad. Yeah, well, uh, just keep the power gloves off her, pal, huh? So as you can see, that was a clip of the wizard. Um, Lucas is using the power glove. We're going to try to do the same thing. And then I'm going to show you how I would do it. Uh, the code doesn't work as well as I expected it to. I, I thought, how am I going to play this? I can't even get halfway around with this. Uh, I found that if I use the traditional, not putting in a code, just having the up, down, left, right, A and B, 
it works a heck of a lot better. So let's jump on into it and take a look. Now, before I push power, let's take a look at the rules. They're self-explanatory. Again, it is missing turning off turbo, which is button seven and button nine. That turns off turbo for A and B. So let's hit power. As you can see, it did come out in 1987. So we are going to first try it out with the code. Now, the code that we're going to be looking at is program nine, enter, enter. So we're gonna center it, turn off the turbos and make a fist, all the lights went out. So let's give it a shot. Now, I am going to, first of all, throw up the controls on the screen to show you how it works. There is the fist to go. You punch forward for turbo. Uh, you'll see down and up what they control. And you kind of use it like a steering wheel. As you can see, Lucas didn't have any problems, but again, he wasn't playing. The lights weren't on. Well, let's give it a shot here and see. Make a fist. Now, as you can see, it likes to turn when it wants to. We punch it up into turbo. And see how far we can get here. I don't see any, no, there's some traffic. See, it's hard to turn this way. It just doesn't want to control the way Lucas gets it to work. Let's try centering again. Nope. So, we did run out of time. Okay, we're going to give it another shot. Look at how far we got. Not very far. So that's game over. Okay. There we go. Press A to start. Fist. I'm just going to recenter it just in case. Down is the brake. Up is the radio stations. Yeah, it just doesn't want to control the way Lucas did. Let's keep going. After this, I'll show you a different way. So that's that. Didn't work so well, but let's try it a different way. So I'm going to reset the Power Glove and the Nintendo, and we are going to leave it on the standard settings, and we'll try that, see if it works any better. So the center, turn off turbo. Make a fist. There we go. And start. We press A. So the thumb is to go and left and right. I find a little bit better. Break is your finger.
So as you can see, it's a whole lot better for controlling. Put on some music there. See, we're getting a whole lot further than we did before. I don't know if any of you have played with the Power Glove, how far you've got, or if you've mastered it. Now, there, we hit the checkpoint. So it's a lot. It's, it's still difficult, but it's better. Now you can do up for turbo, but it's very difficult to control. Let's see how far we can get in this one run. But again, playing with the Power Glove with certain games is a whole lot of fun. Um, if you're, you're really good at certain games, you'll find that you're not so good after a while with the Power Glove, but you keep practicing and you can get further and further. Um, yeah, three cars. Oh. But yeah, it's a whole lot of fun. No, didn't get any time. But you can see how farther we got. Let's take a look at the map. Look at that. Halfway. A lot better. So I suggest giving it a shot with the Power Glove. Let me know how far you get. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let's try something else out here before we go. Get out your 3D glasses. You're, you're gonna get ready for something really rad. If you hit select, it goes into 3D. Now, the power club doesn't like it. It just can't control it for some apparent reason. Let's try... <laughs> Let's try resetting it and see. See if we can get 3D to work. So we're gonna turn off the turbos, squeeze our fist. There we go. Hit start. Let's try select. Okay. Press A. No. It does not detect it correctly. Now it does. As soon as we go into 3D, ooh, you can see the lights are all lighting up at once. And <laughs> I can't get them to go. But turn it off, and we've got control again. So we can't really show you in 3D, but that's okay. Uh, if you guys have the game, have fun with it. Try playing with the Power Glove. You can get your hands on the Power Glove. But I am Captain N. This has been Episode 5 of The Ultimate Warp Zone, and I will see you next mission.